And so to begin, if everybody can take a moment to just lean back. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for joining me. And if you can write on the comments, what drew you into the class? This class is a very hot topic for people. So if you can just write where are your challenges right now, I'd love to know as far as your ability to receive is it easy for you to receive? Do you feel as though you are balanced giving and receiving? Or do you tend to be that person that's always giving and not giving enough to yourself? So just take a moment to reflect on that. And if you want, you can close your eyes and put your hand over your chest. And so an aspect of the work that I do with my clients is a lot about going inside and tapping into that inner wisdom that we all have our intuition. And so take a moment right now to just close your eyes and lean back and go inside, bringing one hand over your chest, one hand over your abdomen. Lean back consciously, tuning into the feeling in your body. Do I know how to receive? And where am I at? Do I feel as though I give, 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 and I don't Receive enough, deep breath in, exhaling, ah. Inhale, take the deepest inhalation. And notice, is it easy for me to expand my intercostal muscles in between the ribs? We have these intercostal muscles. So breathe in through your nose. Exhale, ah. And I invite you to open your mouth, relax your jaw, inhale deeply, as long as you can, and then exhale, ah. Deep breath in. Exhale, ah. And we're going to expand even more and notice, is it easy for you to expand even more? You can inhale, inhale, inhale through your nose like this. And then exhale. Ah. Inhale, inhale, inhale through the nose. Close your eyes and witness the sensations in your body. Notice how your body feels. Ah. And what we're doing right now is a practice called mindfulness, where we are the witness, we are the observer. To the best of our ability, we observe the thoughts passing through us. We notice the sensations in our body. And so you can get an, a feeling for how does my heart feel? How does my tummy feel? How do I feel? Ah. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Ah. Allowing yourself to focus on the sensations Hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs> We're gonna have to do it this way. And so just noticing right now, when I think about for this next 10 minutes or so, you don't have to look at me, you're gonna go inside and practice accessing your intuition, your inner wisdom and practicing what that feels like. And so taking a deep breath in, focusing right now, How do I feel?
Do I feel scarcity? And if everybody can mute themselves, thank you so much. Uh, leaning back even more, you're gonna practice, can I lean back and can I surrender? is leaning back and for some of us we're doing all the time we're going 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 and so it's difficult sometimes for us to really receive our own beautiful energy and as you lay here i want you to remember how precious you are how valuable you are each one of us the most beautiful we could be is ourselves each one of us was created on purpose, however you want to believe, whether it's God, creator, source, universe, each one of us has amazing gifts. And when we allow ourselves to truly be who we really are, without the criticism or the analysis, it's amazing the magic that happens. And so I invite you to lean back even more, close your eyes. Keep one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy, and you can even caress your heart. So you can just close your eyes and go inside even deeper and notice, do I live with my heart open or do I protect myself? You're just assessing, you're noticing what comes up for you. And there's no right or wrong, it's whatever it is, is beautiful for you, okay? So taking a moment to just reflect do I run on scarcity? Am I nervous about my finances? Do I feel as though I don't have enough time? Do I feel I don't have enough? Deep breath in. So I invite you, Orlando, to lean back and, and surrender on your couch. Surrender on your bed if you want to get on the floor. I invite everyone to really give it 100%. Surrender, allow. It requires you to trust for you to lean back. And for some of us, we don't trust. And that's okay, you know, this is just an intro to something more. But how we do this exercise is a metaphor for how we bring ourselves into our lives. And some of us, we have a hard time letting go of control and trusting. So the more you allow yourself to surrender right in this instant, you're actually opening yourself for more to come to you. And so if your heart feels as if it's tense, you can bring your arm out, the left arm out, or over your head and behind you. And this stretches the fascia. There's a sheath of collagen elastin that covers your muscle and your heart organ. So some of us, maybe we had grief or loss or divorce or separation or felt abandoned. So many things happen that affect our hearts. And sometimes we feel like there's a knot in our heart. And so this exercise of bringing your arm to the left outside, and just taking a moment to caress your chest, we have these receptors for oxytocin on the chest, the love hormone. And so you can create these circles of love, moving your hand over your heart. Deep breath in, exhale. Ah. Inhale, feeling your heart. Ah. Going inside and sensing, how does my heart feel? What are the emotions in my heart? Am I neutral? Am I just the witness? I'm here? Or am I angry, resentful, bitter? Is there someone that I can't stand or someone I avoid or I'm sad about something? Or did I take something personally? You're just noticing what comes up and then breathe. Ah. <sighs> And some of us might not feel comfortable because we're on a Zoom call and we're like, oh my God, you want me to touch my chest? Um, massage my chest, okay. So there might be that chatty Cathy in the background of your mind. So just take a moment and notice. 
Ah. And you're going to inhale. Exhale. Ah. Noticing when it comes to money, what was my first memory of what I think money is? So take a moment and just go back in time. You're going to go back to the youngest time where you had any perception about money and buying something. And just keep your eyes closed for this. We're going to do a little regression here. What's my first memory of money? And thank you so much for joining us. If you can just mute yourself. Thank you. Ah. And when it came to money being spent on me, how do I feel about that? Were my parents generous with me? Or did I get everything on sale, hand-me-downs? Did my parents spoil me rotten? And did I get everything I wanted? Or were my parents you know, saying, money doesn't grow on trees? We can't afford that. How was your relationship to money? And then how did your parents treat you and spend on you? Or what was the perception about money that you perceived for your parents felt? And how did that impact you? So is it easy to make money? Is there always lack of money? And what meaning did they give to money? Is it a priority? Did your parents work all the time to make money? Or would they go on vacations and prioritize family time, having dinners, just being together? Or were you with a nanny, always being taken care of by other people? Just notice what comes up in your heart. And for some of us, maybe we're feeling it in our gut. Lean back even more, take a deep breath. <sighs> How did my parents value and prioritize money, investing in me? Did I feel safe and provided for? Deep breath in. Did I feel prioritized and taken care of? All my basic needs met. Or did I feel stressed out about it? Did I feel like I was a burden on my parents? Did they have enough or they struggled because there were so many of us or just not enough? Take all that in and then let it go. <sighs> if there's a window, you can direct your release towards a window. So this is a technique to process. Putting your mouth. <sighs> I call them emotional farts. You're farting out through your mouth. You're not gonna forget it if, if I say it like that, okay, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for muting yourself, Ayala. Hi. We're doing a little guided introspection meditation here. And then how do I feel now? Flashback 20, 30 years, whatever your age is. What is my relationship today with money? Do I have savings in, my, in the bank? Have I invested my money? Do I have property? Do I do stocks and bonds? Do I have a financial consultant? How do I manage my money? What's my relationship to money? <sighs> do I feel comfortable in my savings account, my, my accounts? Or do I every night go to sleep worrying about money? Deep breath in. If any emotions come up, <sighs> am I paying for my family members? Do I support my family members? And I feel like I spend on everybody else and I don't even really do the things I want to do. <sighs> do I feel like I work, 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 work all to make money? Or do I live a passionate life where I get to do what I really love? How do I feel about finances? Do I work fee-for-service type of job? 
or do I have passive sources of revenue streams? Do I feel abundant in my ability to receive different sources of income? <sighs> so right now, you're doing an inventory. This is called a money inventory, checking in with your beliefs about money. What are my beliefs? How do I feel about money? And if you got my text, I want you to whip out some cash, if you have cash, and you're gonna smell it, and you're gonna notice, how do I feel about cash? So just take a moment right now and smell cash. And notice, do I think money's dirty? Do I love the smell of money? How, what's my relationship to money, cash? And right now, I'm gonna just take some time for people to write to me, comment, and if you don't want it to be public, just do it privately. Text me privately. Oh, you can text me on my phone too if you don't want it to be recorded. Everything's private if you, if you send it privately to Michelle. A lot. <laughs> and so here's the thing. Some of us are ashamed that we have debts or we have credit card bills. Some of us have shame and money. Let me know. Do you have shame in, in money? When it comes to money, do you have shame around money? And so I invite you tonight. I'm not going to judge anyone. Trust me, I judged myself so much in my life that I've become really good at holding space for people. I love you all. We're all one. And I care so much. I want us all to be abundance mindset manifestors because it really is a lot about releasing and clearing the shame and the guilt and whatever these things we took personally. So what came up for you in that guided, guided meditative exploration discovery? And remember, you're awesome. And we're going to do some magic tonight. Okay, your energy and everything works like that at the speed of light and at the speed of sound. That's why I do sound healing so we can change our frequency. If you feel lack and undeserving of money right now in this moment, you can actually shift your frequency. And so that's awesome to shift your frequency, right? But it takes practice and it takes repetition. So this is why when I work with my clients, I usually work with my clients over six sessions. I call it the Powerful Creator Program. Thank you everyone for muting yourself because I hear someone, so please check your mute mutations. <laughs> and um, this, you can't expect like in one hour to have like a massive for the next rest of your life. But what we're doing today is we're letting those emotions come up and I just want you to notice, are you a shameful person? Sometimes we judge ourselves. I should know better. Why am I still doing it this way? And so is that you? That sometimes you're like, why are you like this? Ugh, and that's your self-talk. So something you could do is say, yay, I get to explore how to be more of a wealth expert, a wealth building expert, wealth building expert, wealth building a WBE and so you can have this attitude with yourself to get to do some new things. Okay, so just be careful. This is a part of the, the work that I do with my clients is the relationship that we have. Gary, if you can mute yourself, really appreciate that. So Thank you everyone for sharing. And, and it's almost like a painful bowel movement. That's the energy I feel here. How people are like, ugh, I wish I wasn't feeling that way. You know, intuitively, this is what I'm picking up. I wish my relationship was better with money. So here's the thing. You have something called self-awareness. And whenever you put the credit card into the little swiper, or when you click a button to spend money, is it okay if you invest from now on so you no longer use the, the, the word spend? Because the truth is in this abundance mindset, we're never losing anything. 
So when someone doesn't like you or somebody re you think, oh man, he doesn't like me, that's scarcity mindset. So we can start to be like, yay, I have all these bills to pay. That means that I have, and I'm able to spend, and I'm investing in my car and in my clothes and in my rent and in my mortgage and in my, so you can have this attitude when you click to make bill payments, right? You can be like, yeah, I'm so grateful that I have so much. And in the second that you send that click, click for the, the credit card payment, how you bring yourself into that experience is affecting every experience. So whether you are thinking that you're losing a relationship or you're losing a debit from your credit, uh, your, your checking account or your savings account. How about that is just the transfer of investing and you're transferring into a larger, more amazing, expansive relationship in the future with someone else, or you're transferring energy into whatever you decided to invest in, whether that was food, or that was clothing or you know a service because sometimes clients come to me and they're like michelle i felt so guilty you know i got the babysitter and now i'm, I'm buying a package and ah, you know but i know i need to do this you know so what if we didn't have guilt about investing can somebody please uh just help me out with the meeting there somebody uh whoever that is gary can you hear me yeah. Can you mute yourself? The yeah, button is Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Just for the recording. Okay. Thank you. And so we, we did a little inventory. We reflected, how do I feel? So the thing is the purpose of these type of exercises where we go inside is because you're walking around all day with all those feelings you just had. And a lot of people wrote the word shame. So before you came here today, were you aware that you're holding all this shame in your body and that you're walking around about money like that for God knows how many years? So this is the thing, however you are, that's how you attract. And so shame locks abundance, especially sexual shame. So you can take a moment right now, we're gonna go down and we're gonna explore more of this in one-on-one -on -one sessions privately with me. And also, if you join the Wild Woman of Abundance, we're gonna do a deeper dive. And gentlemen, I have an upcoming class for men and women. So if you all wanna go deeper and clear more thoroughly, you can always work with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? You can't expect everything to happen in a free one-hour class, okay? I just want you to know that. So we're gonna dip down, but then we're gonna do the best we can. And it's important not to have forcing yourself or just let things unravel slowly. So today you may just have self-awareness, but I'm feeling called for us to go down to our genitals right now. And so you can put your hands, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Put your hands at your lower waist and your inner thighs, and you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna start to touch your lower abdomen and your genitals. Lower abdomen and genitals, and you can also touch your thighs. <sighs> and so you're focusing on this bottom part of the body, just like we did with the heart, and just close your eyes. So we did the heart, now we're gonna go down to the genitals. And notice, and you may want to touch your buttocks. If you have a lot of hip tension or low back tension, you can put your hand there. Please close your eyes and lean back. And see if you can just lean back and let go of holding yourself as you touch yourself and you're noticing, do I feel at peace in my genitals? Or do I feel tension in my genitals? And the reason I ask this is because the root chakra, the anus area, that's the root and the sacral is the sexual, but that's also the abundance flow, money flow chakra. And it's the creativity flow chakra, energy center. And am I holding any shame about my sexuality? Was I ever raped, abused? Did I ever have anything traumatic happen to me? Did anybody ever touch me in a way that I didn't want them to touch me? 
how do I feel about my genitals, this area, my buttocks. Sometimes we had potty training and our parents spanked us. So there's literally, I've worked with clients that had a lot of shame around their body and they don't even understand why. And then later when they do hypnosis with me, they uncover that their parents were really abusive during potty training time or they wet their bed and they were shamed. Shame on you, how could you do that? And they're only two years old. So anyway, so we're gonna breathe awareness here, touch yourself there, and you're just gonna make a scan. Am I holding any emotions here? In my uterus, in my ovaries, in my prostate, in my bladder? Am I pissed off at anyone? <sighs> Sometimes we hold in the bladder. Or if you have hemorrhoids in the anal area, that's another part where sometimes we hold frustration. <sighs> and so your eyes are closed, you're focusing down and just breathing and expanding down there. Asking yourself, am I holding anything here? Any emotions, any physical tensions? Do I have any energetic blocks? Do I feel in the flow or do I feel stagnant? Ah. And do I feel that I support my own self? Or do I depend on other people to be financing me? Am I independent or codependent financially? Do I support myself? And you're just noticing what comes up for you for the purpose of today. Do I feel worthy of receiving more in my life? Pleasure, lightness. Do I feel worthy of having more in my life, in all areas of my life? More fulfilling relationships? starting with my own, more time with myself and others, quality time? Do I feel I have enough time to do all the things that I really wanna do? Or am I living for others? Or not really prioritizing what I really want? Allow those emotions to come up and then, uh, and what if it was more possible for me to feel that it was easier for me to feel good about spending my money? What if I felt money was clean? And what if I provided for myself more? What if I felt really comfortable when I was investing and instead of spending? And what if there was more flow in trusting with the finances? What if I felt more deserving of receiving unexpected gifts, money, unexpected opportunities? What if it was easier for me to invest in myself? And what if I was more generous with money and it was easier for me to invest in myself? And what if I cared more about money and it didn't cause any issues in any aspects of my life? What if it actually embellished, enhanced my life? What if I could let go of all those negative beliefs I have about money being bad, like it's, a, like it's an entity of something? What if it was just a way of me getting feedback for how in alignment I am with my truth, 
which is abundance. What if I started looking at money as a reflection of abundance that I am? And that's all I, I see it as. Therefore, if I'm working in the job that is the right job for me, there's abundance flow. If I am balanced between giving and receiving, feelings of flow take over in my life and there, there's this ease and grace in life. What if lack is a sign that it's an opportunity to come back to balance, to come back to alignment with my truth, the, the truth that, it, that our nature is to be abundant. We are actually abundant beings, but when there's too much scarcity, fear, shame, guilt, feeling like you're a burden, we make up all these stories as children of what we are. And if you take those with you as an adult, which most of us do, unless we do hypnosis, like, like Diane and I, you know, she's a hypnotist also. Um, we, we just keep playing out these apps, these, we don't realize it because it's unconscious. And so I want you to take a moment now and reflect, what is my ideal money mindset and abundance mindset? What if it was easy for me to feel so precious and valuable? What if I felt as though everything I touch turns to gold? And what if you walked around as royalty? So I want you to see yourself as royalty right now. Close your eyes and see yourself adorned in your most favorite suit or dress. We're all going to the Oscars together. I got us a bus. <laughs> it's a gold bus. <laughs> And we're all dressed up and dazzled up and you're in your highest expression of yourself and you feel so sparkly and abundant, opulent, rich, and so worthy. Somehow, you don't know how, you don't have to know how, but you got very, very focused and you really connected with yourself. And actually, I have a lot of tools <laughs> and that's, that's why I do the work I do. What if you spent some time and you got very clear on releasing and processing the weight of the emotions of the past and you'd spend some more time feeling and imagining what it is that you wish to create more in your life. So you're dressed up, you're feeling abundant, you're feeling opulent, you're feeling rich and worthy and wealthy. And you're putting on a different identity right now. It's as though we're all actors and actresses and we're acting, we're creating that role and we're embodying that role of abundance. And so what kinds of qualities would I have to think and feel for me to be my most abundant and prosperous version of myself? How would I think differently and how would I feel differently if I already was the highest version of myself, the most receptive, the most feeling worthy, the most easy to produce and, and create. And what if my sexual energy was flowing and expanding and my libido is Whoa! and I feel so comfortable being myself. I no longer filter. I'm not self-critical. I'm super um, connected to who I really am. And what if I went on this journey with Michelle starting May 28th, the Wild Woman of Abundance for the Ladies, and I invested in these five classes with Michelle, me, and I started to use my essential oils consistently in the day, starting with the abundance oil and the aphrodisiac oil that comes with the, with the registration today if you wanna join. And what if I was more able to process my emotions like I'm learning, you're learning right now? Can you imagine navigating through your day where you notice yourself, oh my God, I went into scarcity mode. Oh my goodness, I just felt shame. And you just decide in that moment to put your hand on your chest and to process the shame. Or you just take a deep breath and you let it go and poof, the shame releases. How would your life be different if you didn't feel weighed down anymore by your emotions? Can you imagine what it would feel like if you could imagine 
how you would come into your day differently if you felt so much more freer and lighter in general? And what if you were more resilient and you don't take anything personally and you know that you acting and feeling this new identity would actually cause you to attract more abundance in your life? Because that's the way it works, folks. The more you become that identity of abundance and you take on that persona, you become that and you attract it. And then people treat you differently. It's amazing. So I invite you all to take a moment and you're going to choose a name. You're going to name yourself. This is your abundance name. And you're going to bring your thumb and index finger together and just lay there with your arms out, opening up your body. So this is called a uh, anchor in neurolinguistic programming. This is one of the techniques that my clients learn when they work with me. We're going to create this anchor with an identity that you're going to name your most ab abundant version of yourself. So give yourself a name right now and you're welcome to share it. You can comment later. So what would you like to name yourself is the most abundant, multimillionaires or multimillionaire version of yourself and then you're going to exhale ah so imagining yourself you feel 10 feet tall ah imagine opening up your bank account and there's an extra 50,000 extra in your balance imagine what that would make you feel like and you just, whatever it is that you want to create right now, imagine it being so. Maybe you want a new car. Maybe you want to move into a different place to live. Or you feel so abundant in love and acceptance of yourself. And that feels priceless for you. So take a moment to create whatever it is that you want to create right now. And take five deep breaths. And if you do have the abundance oil, I invite you to smell that right now because that's just going to strengthen that connection with your brain manifesting this. <sighs> what we feel and think creates the vibration and the vibration is what attracts. It's an inside job. Do I feel multimillionaire? And remember, you can continue to work with me to strengthen this pattern. This is meant to be an exposing you to something different. And this in and of itself is powerful. So take a moment right now to just lean back and keep imagining yourself. Do I give myself permission to live my dream life? Inhale, inhale, inhale. Taking expansive deep breaths. Hold it. Is it easy for you to inhale, inhale, inhale? Or do you feel tightness in your chest? Noticing how you feel, how your energy feels. <sighs> and imagine yourself right now in a beautiful lavender field or sunflowers or roses. You're going to pick which flower, what flower inspires you and makes you feel more abundant, prosperous. I personally love sunflowers. However, they don't smell like much. So... Lavender field, roses, jasmine. Ah, and feel yourself surrounded by all these beautiful flowers. There's an abundance of flowers. You're looking around and you're like, wow, there's so much. And imagining what if my life felt that way? There's so much. There's so much love. 
there's so much energy. There's so many opportunities for me. And there's so much creativity. And life just feels more fun and playful and light. And noticing how you feel right now after this activation. You can bring yourself to notice the temperature in the room, moving your wrists and your ankles, moving your body. Do I feel lighter? Do I feel more abundant, more able to receive? Or do I still feel that tightness or that fear taking over me? Do I feel more open? <sighs> and take a moment and assess how do I feel now as opposed to when I came into the class do I feel more at peace and how do I feel about money Am I more open to a different way of relating with money, investing rather than spending, and feeling grateful that I have when I invest? And so you can take this moment and ask yourself, how have I benefited from leaning back, taking these deeper, expansive breaths, doing this in a group setting with people, how has it benefited me? <sighs> Being reminded to do these practices. And you can take a moment to bring awareness to the taste in your mouth. We're going to tap into the senses here and swallow. And notice the temperature in the room and your skin against the support surface. So you're bringing yourself back into the present moment. And bringing your awareness now to your breath, taking a long breath, feeling your chest expand. Ah, do I feel safe? Do I feel supported? Do I feel more open to receiving? Do I feel more worthy, more valuable? And how would it feel in my life if I had someone to help me be more accountable of my thoughts and my ability to receive for 11 days? Notice if you're open to learning more about essential oils and how you can help yourself shift your emotional state, your energy, your vibration, as quick as this, the, ring, the ring of a bell, because this is how essential oils help us. <sighs> and am I ready in my life right now to invest more in my vibration, how I feel, so that I could create more changes, shifts in my ability to receive? How much of a priority is that right now in my life? So on a zero to 10 scale, 10 is, oh my God, I'm so ready for this. I would really like to practice more. You can write me right now. If you're 10, I highly recommend you to join me for some more classes and to invest in yourself also. And so I have an offer for you all if you are not in the wild woman of abundance, because there's some ladies that are in the class right now, and you're interested in learning more about essential oils, I'm having a class on Tuesday, and I wanted to share with you all an image, photos. I've never done this before, so I just got to see if this will work. Uh, I'm going to do this. Can everybody see the image? Yes. So... There's essential oils like lemon, that's a detoxifier, and lavender, which is great for sleep and for burns and scars. There's many different uses for essential oils. 
There's also for muscle tension, the little bottle on the left is deep blue. And for people that want to focus more adaptive and antibacterial and antiviral properties, On Guard has. If anybody has digestive issues or you want to be able to just breathe more expansive, there's an oil for everything. And I use them a lot in my life for my emotions. I'm a very empathic person and I work with people with a lot of trauma, fibromyalgia, cancer, anxiety, depression. And so I'm constantly looking at what kind of emotional states do I want to create more. Mind you, we can do this all with mindset. It's not like you need the oils. The oils just make everything so much easier and it cleans the air. So if people are spending a lot of time at home and you want to do more healing, focusing, um, you can also put lemon, for example, in your water and copaiba. They're just awesome immune boosting, um, strengthening oils. And I'm going to be having a class on Tuesday night where I'm going to be explaining more how we can optimize our hormones and just our general health. And Dr. Marlene Tages Cordova is going to be teaching with me and Jennifer Panza. And so today I wanted to offer people who would like to learn more about essential oils this special offer of $279 for getting this package, which usually the oils on the top are $249. And then the Wild Woman of Abundance is $497 to join for the four, five classes to work with me, plus a one hour clearing and activation session with me. And these two new oils, I'm just gonna make it a little bigger here, Wild Lust and Wild Abundance. They're beautiful, awesome rollers. And so for the first five people that want to register for this, I'm gonna be honoring this uh, price of 279 just for today. And I forgot to mention, you also get Citrus Bliss. So what I'm gonna do, if anybody's really excited and you're like, oh my God, this is such a deal, I'm putting my cell phone here and you're just gonna write, I am ready to receive. So here's my cell. So for the first five people that would love to get essential oils delivered to them in three to five days, you're gonna just text me, I am ready. And if anybody has any more questions, I'd love to answer any mindset questions or if anything came up in your body can you hear me hello yeah and so that's my cell phone i just put it on the oh sorry <laughs> yeah that's kind of important thank you elenique you're so awesome in the 305 yeah so the first five people that text me back i am ready I'll be in touch with you after this class, and that's a steal of a deal. You're getting an 11-day journey with me. You're also getting a one-hour session with me. That alone is $150, and the doTERRA membership is $249, so you're getting a lot. You're receiving a lot, and sometimes people, we don't feel we're worthy to receive, or we're like, okay, how could this be possible? And so I'm here to let you know it is possible to receive more. And this is my beautiful gift, is that I want people to feel very taken care of. And something that I struggled with in my life was being able to receive. And so that's where I get to heal that by overgiving to people. And um, I mean, I love these rollers. These are awesome, just these alone. And the other thing is, if you already are a member of doTERRA, I'm gifting people today, if you order one aphrodisiac oil, and you want both of them, you, you get two for the price of one. So you can do two for one if you wanna order today. That's another deal that I have. And so this is something that's really exciting for me where I get to create all these wonderful, generous offerings as a way of me practicing giving and for people to receive. And so there's something really magical for people. So just send me your address someone just texted me send me your address for sure and if you're becoming a doTERRA member tonight also i need your address because i'm going to mail you both of the oils and when you do become a member you get to be a part of my team 
where we have continuing education classes about essential oils. And if you're a person that works with people and you want to learn more about the business of doTERRA, we'll work really closely together. And I have a 15 year old daughter and I mean, I use the essential oils for as cleaning products, dish soap, you know, you make your own and these oils last a really long time. And, you know, I use them in a lot of different ways. So that's a part of what we'll be doing closely. You also get an extra hour of essential oils 101 with me privately because everybody has different health concerns. So some women are going through menopause, some women have menstrual cramps, some women have asthma or headaches. And so you can use them also for your emotions. It's really amazing. And I'm really excited. Um, I think it's done something to my hair too, where it's thicker. It's either this or the, or the Tantra. <laughs> and if you don't want to become a member of doTERRA and you just want to join the woman of abundance, you also get the two rollers and there's a code that I wrote. The code is um, abundance when you register and you'll get $200 off the registration. So you only have to pay 197 just for the wild woman of abundance, the one hour session with me and the rollers. Okay. So if anybody wants to learn more about these things, just talk to me. The code is abundance or, or well, I sent you that one for you already, Elenique. That was a special that I sent you. Okay. I love you. I love you. Yeah. And then the other one is if you want to work with me only one on one, you get also the doTERRA membership, even if you don't want it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's different offers with the doTERRA. I know, I'm just being silly. Um, you're going to get rollers anyway for me, working with me, because I make you a personalized concoction for your needs. So some people have depression, anxiety. And so when you work with me one on one, but what I want to mention is if you do work with me one on one, all the classes that I'm teaching, you get to have for free. Okay. Any of these one hour classes, like I'm teaching Tantra for couples and for singles, and you get the Tantra videos. And then I'm teaching an emotional release empower hour class and also a yoni egg class where I'm going to be teaching you how to use a yoni egg. And then I'm also teaching a yoni massage class which your partners are welcome to join. It's for men and women to learn about yoni massage. That means vagina massage, vulva massage. And I want men and women to learn more about this, how to be a more sensual lover and an energetic lover. So you get to be a part of all those classes when you join the doTERRA team or when you sign up for classes with me, one-on-one -on -one sessions. So. As far as the abundance mindset and raising your vibration and really embodying your most valuable person, remember this, okay? These are the anchors. You could be standing at Target waiting in line and you're doing this and you want to remind yourself throughout the day to embody your abundance persona, the most abundant version of yourself and the way that you hold yourself, shoulders down and back, lengthening through the center of your body, the way that we hold ourselves, the way that we stand. <sighs> that creates how we feel. And so check in with yourself, the self-awareness. You know how we talk a lot about the subconscious, unconscious? You can be self-aware and you can redirect yourself, realign yourself. Okay, everyone, you can command your energy however you wish. And so this anchor, I call myself Radiant Michelle. And the other one I call myself is, wow, woman of abundance, Michelle. And so ever since I started this class and I came up with wild woman of abundance, that, that whole thing, I have to tell you folks, it's amazing how many new clients I have, how much just keeps coming to me because I keep thinking about these words. And I created the Wild Woman of Abundance declarations. So I repeat these Wild Woman of Abundance declarations. And whatever it is that you're repeating every single day to yourself, basically we're hypnotizing ourselves every day, regardless if you're aware of it or not. And so you want to check in with yourself and ask yourself, what's my talk? Like, what do I tell myself throughout my day? And so I catch myself and all my friends know me, you know, neuro-linguistic programming, we're constantly 
programming ourselves the words that we use. So you're gonna learn more in depth about that working with me one-on-one -on -one. and also in the Well Woman of Abundance, we're gonna pay attention to the power of our words, the power of our sexuality, our sexual energy, our sensuality. And we're gonna just get more in touch with those things that we don't usually talk about that really play a big massive role in our healing. And so I'd love to open it up right now if anybody has any questions, I'd love to know if there's anything interesting that came up from your past that you didn't even know because we did that exercise. And um, any other questions, I'd love to just be right now support for you all. Anything that I mentioned. Everybody's good? Hi, Michelle. Hi. My character came out, Michelle. You see my wig? Oh, no, 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 I can't see. My goddess, remember the first, you can oh, see? I love it. the first event that we did, you, you said name her. So it's, it's Diane Goddess Unleashed and that's my podcast, but I've been stressed out for like a week and I've been too scared Diane to put out her, her little hat on. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it. You look awesome. Ow. Thank you. That's for my new YouTube channel. That's for you. Oh, very relaxing. As always, you're amazing. Aww, you know. Thank you. So are you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You look great. <laughs> thank you. I'll be wearing it tomorrow on camera. Awesome. So thank you everyone for joining me. And remember, just text me if you have any more questions. And if you want any more information, I'm going to be sending the recording to the link. And Keep practicing, you know, it's a lot to ask of yourself to make some really big changes in just the one hour session, a class. So that's something that I'm really big proponent is making a commitment to yourself to take the next step and really shift. And if anybody's benefited from the work that I've done with you, I'd love it if you want to share or just from the Wow Woman of Abundance class so far, any celebrations, you know, I'd love to hear from you all. Um, if anybody wants to share. So I guess everybody's good. And keep on listening to the meditations too, everyone. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Keep Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a great night. Bye.